Hello Windows Universe! In this video we will look at steps you can take to fix the NTO SKRNL.exe high CPU memory and disk use problem. As always there will be an article linked in the description below that will go more into depth. You should start by scanning your computer for potential malware. Make sure that your antivirus software is up to date and make sure that you do a thorough scan especially the system 32 folder since this is where NTOS KRNL.exe is located. If you are still experiencing the problem, it might be a disk corruption. So, let's try running the DISM tool. Open the command prompt. As an administrator, type this in as the command line, DISM space slash online space slash cleanup as one word hyphen image space slash restore health hit enter the scan will take at least 15 minutes or if there happens to be more corruption on your disk after that's done restart your computer and see if the problem has been resolved your next option is to look and see if your drivers might be out of date. Out of date drivers can cause incompatibility issues that can cause issues like this. So go to the device manager and go through and update all of your drivers. You should also consider going to settings and checking for any sort of updates to Windows. That not only might correct any incompatibility problems, it might also fix any bad sectors on the computer. After that, restart to let the updates take effect and see if the problem has corrected itself. If you are still having this issue, we can then look and see if a particular app is cross causing the problems. Let's start by looking at the runtime broker process. Go to the task manager and look for runtime broker. If you see that it's using more than 15% of your memory, then your problem is with one of your applications. You can end the task while you try and track down the application that's causing the problem. So this is a way we can try and track down the culprit then. Should you still be having this problem, you can troubleshoot further manually by performing a clean Boot. Do a system restart it minimum amount of drivers and startup programs. We will then start using minimum drivers and startup programs. And you'll have to go pretty much program through program, one process at a time, eliminating what is an culprit. In the article we link, we go into a lot more detail on how to do this. Did this solve your problem? Let us know in the comments down below. For more helpful articles, Go to our website, thewindowsclub.com. Do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe where we are always adding new content aimed at making your digital universe just a little bit easier. Thanks for watching and have a great day.